Okay, this is my homemade Newton meter. We've got a piece of cardboard, in this case a clipboard. We've got um, one paper clip at the top, a large one in this case, but it doesn't matter. An elastic band and a second paper clip, which we're going to use to hang um, the weights off. Now, to start with, I've calibrated this as zero newtons because there's no stretch at all in the elastic band. And now we're going to calibrate it for the other newtons. So, uh, here I've got a 100 gram weight. I'm going to hang it off the homemade newton meter. I'm going to take my pen and at the bottom of the um, paper clip, I'm going to mark that as being one newton. I'm going to take this off again. I'm going to put a second weight on here, so it's now at 200 grams. Okay. Making sure that it's free hanging, I'm going to draw a line across where the bottom of the paper clip is again, and that's going to be two newtons. Now, I've calibrated this up to two newtons. I could go further, this is quite a small elastic band, and I think any further and I'm likely to actually break it. Okay. Now I can use that Newton meter now to test an object. So if I take something like uh, my keys and I hang my keys off the homemade Newton meter, we should get a reading on how heavy my keys are. So let's see if this works. Okay, and we can see it's coming about halfway between 0 and 1. So if we calibrate it a bit further, we should see that this is about 0 0.5 Newtons. Now in this case, because I'm in the lab, I can test this out. So I've got my actual school newton meter. I'm going to hang all the same equipment on I had on there. Make sure we still agree on it. And we can see, hopefully here, that we're getting 0 0.5 newtons on here. So we're getting the same accuracy on both the newton meters.